And the Biden administration has announced its intent to build a pier off the coast of Gaza to provide some two million meals daily. This is the U.S. president has also been publicly criticizing Prime Minister Netanyahu over Israel's war policy. More from ILTV Steve Leibovitz. The U.S. says it will build a pier off the coast of Gaza to eventually provide some two million meals daily for civilians. The Pentagon said that 1,000 soldiers will be involved in the project and it will take two months to build. Senior administration officials briefing reporters said the U.S. military personnel would be operating in vessels along the shore, although they won't be docking. Simply put, they'll establish a temporary offshore maritime pier that allows for shipping vessels to transfer cargo to smaller vessels to transport and offload cargo to a temporary causeway for the delivery of humanitarian aid to Gaza. Israel is cooperating with the effort. אנחנו מתאמים הקמה של מזח צף ימי זמני שנועד להכניס סיוע הומניטרי לעזה לאחר בידוק ישראלי מלא. המשימה הזאת היא משימה ברורה בשיתוף פעולה בין צה"ל בתיאום מלא לפיקוד המרכז האמריקאי אנחנו נפיץ את הציוד באמצעות ארגונים בינלאומיים לאוכלוסייה הזקוקה לכך. President Biden made the announcement about the pier during his State of the Union address. I'm directing the U.S. military to lead an emergency mission to establish a temporary pier in the Mediterranean on the coast of Gaza that can receive large shipments carrying food, water, medicine, and temporary shelters. No U.S. boots will be on the ground. A temporary pier will enable a massive increase in the amount of humanitarian assistance getting into Gaza every day. Meanwhile, in an interview on MSNBC, President Biden had harsh words for Prime Minister Netanyahu. The interview came after Biden was overheard saying that he and Prime Minister Netanyahu were headed toward a come-to-Jesus meeting, an American expression for having a blunt conversation over the humanitarian crisis in Gaza. He explained it this way. What's happening is he has a right to defend Israel, a right to continue to pursue Hamas, but he must, he must, he must pay more attention to the innocent lives being lost as a consequence of the actions taken. Biden said planning must be done for post-war Gaza and said there were red lines Israel should not cross. I've spoken with the majority of the Arab leaders from Saudi Arabia to Egypt to Jordan. They're all prepared to fully recognize Israel and begin to rebuild the region. And uh, that's, that's the focus. What comes after Gaza? What's next? It's a tough decision, but there's a lot that can be done. What is your red line with Prime Minister Netanyahu? Do you have a, a, a red line? For instance, would invasion of Rafah, which you have urged him not to do, would that be a red line? It is a red line, but I'm never going to leave Israel. The defense of Israel is still critical, so there's no red line. I'm going to cut off all weapons so they don't have the Iron Dome to protect them. They don't have. But there's red lines that if he crosses, and they can, he cannot have 30,000 more Palestinians dead. Biden said he would consider a visit to the Knesset to speak directly to the Israeli people. Address the Knesset, the Israeli, Israeli parliament. Is that something you would do? Yes. Would that have to be at the invitation of the prime minister, or could that be at the invitation of the president? I'd rather not discuss it more.